All right guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Civic hatchback here. So right after I bought this car, literally the night of that I got home, I looked for the leaking hatch issue and I posted the video a couple weeks ago on the channel. If you haven't seen that video yet of my original video of where the leak is, check it out in the description below. So got in contact with the dealership I bought it from. They were aware of the issue. They said they had one other Civic hatchback in for that issue and they just needed to schedule a time that the uh, field service tech from Honda could be at the dealer to look at the car because actually Honda dealers right now actually aren't allowed to touch these cars when they come into the dealership with this particular issue. I believe it's because the field techs are being sent out from corporate Honda to kind of do a root cause analysis as they're gathering information for a recall or a TSB for a fix for this. Um, but unfortunately, the car was there for a week um, and I got word after a week that they had not found a leak and that they really ran out of ideas so uh, they had uh, requested that I come back to the dealership and drop off the loaner car and pick this car back up and just play it by ear and see if it leaks again. I, I found that really hard to believe but I took their word for it. Uh, I drove it home. It's about a two hour round trip for me to get up there and back. You know it's about 50 minutes each way plus the time I'm there so it's not exactly convenient for me. However when I got home as you'll see in the video I'm showing right now, this is what I found. Now, when I left the dealership, I checked, I lifted the hatchback because the car was in the, in the garage, just to double check, you know, I was looking at the spots where it's common to leak from specifically on mine, right at this seam here. The sealing surface um, for this seal right here is well beyond that. So it was leaking from inside the car. Um, but I checked this right before I walked out of the dealership. Everything looked fine, no water. I said, okay, um, I'll continue home and try to just keep an eye on it. However, right when I got home, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna check the spare tire area. So. That's exactly what the video was I just took for you guys. Uh, I sent that straight to the dealership and said, what the heck's going on? Um, you know, they had the car for a week and they said they exhausted all ideas. They pressure washed it. They dumped buckets of water on the hatch. They said they couldn't find any sources of a leak, yet the trunk was full of water when I got the car back and drove it home straight from the dealership. I'm just going to keep this like this and keep an eye on it. Uh, until I can take it back to the dealer or for whatever they tell me they want to do uh, with it. But, you know, there's a lot of Reddit posts. There's a lot of posts on the Civic 11 forum for this issue. Um, I shouldn't say a lot, but there's a few with quite a few replies, especially on Reddit, uh, for people saying this is a design issue and they've had a similar experience with uh, the dealers as me. And uh, a few comments were saying that it's related to this design of how the window comes all the way to the top. There's no border around this rear tailgate window up top here. So I'm kind of curious myself to try to see if I can get this thing to leak. But it's just like I said, it's really disappointing that they went through, I had the car for a whole week to troubleshoot it and they delivered it back to me with a, a puddle of water in the spare tire area. So it's definitely kind of killing the new car buying experience for me a little bit. Um, you know, being that I haven't ever had these kind of issues on my 8th gen, my wife's CRV, or anything that's that's not new. It seems like just new car quality has gone down, but uh, what do you got to do when you live in New York? I'd love to keep the 8th gen forever, but rust will eventually get it. So what I'm going to do for you here right now is hit this thing with a pressure washer, mostly in this upper area because that's where people suspect this thing to leak from, and then it travel down all the way and pool in the bottom of the hatch. But it must be dripping out of here uh, as it's pooling up in here and getting down underneath the trunk tray and into the trunk down here. So a uh, very, very kind of alarming situation. I did notice there's like these rubber plugs up here, but they are, you know, on the outside. So you don't want to remove those being that the ceiling surface is up here. So I'm going to leave those in for sure as maybe that is a source of the leak. Um, I don't see anything around the electrical connections that could be causing it, um, but People online are saying the interface, the seam back here where the window uh, touches the hatch. Let me see if this picks it up on the camera, but right along the seam is where they're saying the issue is.
All right, guys, so moment of truth. Let's see what we can find. So as you can see, all that area is wet up to the seal. Nothing, maybe it hasn't been long enough yet. Nothing has pooled up in the bottom yet. bone dry in here. All right, so it just rained a lot today. It's been a while since it rained. Let's take a look. So the pressure washing didn't work. Let's see what the rain did. Nothing on that side, nothing on this side. It's the weirdest thing. Take a look down here. And we're bone dry after a pretty heavy rain, so that's good news. But why did it randomly stop leaking? All right, guys, so it's been about three weeks now since I got the car back from Honda, and every time it rained, I've been checking this area very carefully, as well as the areas that my original leak was from. And I have not got one drop or any sign of water since. So um, there's two theories I have. One of them is this thing is self-healing, which is not really realistic, but you never know. Um, maybe some gaskets have seeded themselves since I got this car really quick after it was made off the production line. It was shipped to the dealer and I got it pretty much right off the truck. So um, that's really an unlikely theory. But my other theory is potentially when you pick up the car from the dealer, and until you actually purchase it and are about to leave with it, there's no license plate on the rear hatch. And there's four uh, like plastic inserts in there that have holes where the screws take up. And the holes for the screws, you know, may have let water in until I bought the car and left with it. So during transport, and then when they wash the car at the dealer for PDI and delivery, maybe, just maybe, water got through those four holes and then leaked inside and then leaked through these interior plastics but i find that very very hard to believe with the amount of water you guys saw down here after i got the car back from the dealer granted i can't really be too upset because the dealer um, was trying to find leaks and they pulled all these plastics off and did a bunch of water tests just like i did and didn't see any source of a drip or a leak so they didn't even think to check down here so i'm just gonna guess that the water that was down here under the spare tire was there for a while and maybe it was accumulating from all the time the car didn't have a license plate on it i really don't know it's a very weird mystery with this car but long story short i have some other plans for the hatch and i've been waiting on sharing that content with you guys I'm going to install something on the hatch here very shortly. I'm excited to share with you guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys think I might be installing on the hatch. I am willing to bet a lot of you don't get it right. Uh, so I'm very excited to bring you that content. So for now, guys, what I'm going to do is just keep an eye on this. I'll make future videos if I ever catch it dripping again. And I'll start this whole process over. And I'll be probably taking it back to the dealer. But as of right now, in June 2023, this thing has stopped leaking. So... Be interesting to see what happens when it when uh, winter comes and materials shrink from the cold and and seals shrink and whatnot that if it's still going to have a problem or not or if it's resolved itself for the life of the car i will definitely post future videos if i find any other leaks on this but for now i'm going to move ahead with other videos i have planned and uh, not make any more videos on this until i see it as an issue again so thanks guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.